Welcome, brothers and sisters, to Mother and Refuge of the End Times. Today, I have asked Father Joseph, one of our Telegram chaplains, to answer some questions I've received in relation to a video, St. Joseph, this year many will be called to the Father's house. Prepare now. In this video, a discussion on plenary indulgence is made. Many questions were asked by viewers on how we can receive a plenary indulgence and what is the best way of doing that. Thank you, Father, for answering. How to get plenary indulgences. First of all, what are indulgences? Um, indulgences are the remission before God of the temporal punishment due to sins whose guilt has already been forgiven. We're forgiven the eternal punishment the, of our sins in the confessional. Indulgences take away the temporal punishment. Um, and then, so the, the faithful Christian who, who's duly disposed gains the indulgence under prescribed conditions for either himself or the departed. So you can apply it either to yourself or to a poor soul in purgatory. Indulgences are granted through the ministry of the church who as the dispenser of the graces of redemption distributes the treasury of the merits of Christ and his saints. And so there's many ways that the church has prescribed. I'm going to mention a, a few because there's there, there are daily indulgences that one can, can gain. There's indulgences for certain days and then there's special circumstances when you can receive the indulgences so for example daily you can actually um, do certain things on a daily basis to gain indulgences for example uh, you could visit the blessed sacrament for adoration lasting at least a half hour if you do that you can gain an, a plenary indulgence every day as long as you make the intention, you pray for the Holy Father's intentions. That's what you need to do to gain any of the indulgences. Always pray a uh, pray for the Holy Father's intentions and fulfill the, the necessary conditions. Uh, that means to be in a state of grace, which means you have to have um, confessed at least uh, uh, eight days before or after. Now, Pope John Paul II, I believe, even extended that to 20 days. Uh, when he gave the special plenary indulgence for um, the Day of Divine Mercy, on the second Sunday of Easter, he extended the the, the requirement of the confession uh, 20 days be, before or after uh, doing, performing the indulgence. So anyway, other things you can do on a daily basis is, for example, the way of the cross. If you pray it... Uh, the stations of the cross uh, where they're illegitimately erected, like in a church or a chapel, uh, you can gain uh, an indulgence. Or, listen to this, even devoutly recitating, re reciting the Marian Rosary in a church or in a religious community. Uh, you can read the sacred scriptures, a spiritual reading, for at least a half hour. Um, so that, that those would be examples of some that you can do on a daily basis. Now, there's, of course, indulgences that apply just for uh, certain days of the year. Um, you know, for example, uh, during, during Lent, uh, if on any of the Fridays, if you recite the communion prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ crucified, uh, you gain a, a plenary indulgence. Uh, on Easter, the Easter Vigil, when we renew our baptismal vows, you can gain a plenary indulgence. A couple that are coming up, for those who are interested, so Pentecost is only a week away. If you recite or sing the Veni Creato Spiritus, which is the hymn to the Holy Spirit on the solemnity of Pentecost, you can gain a plenary indulgence 
Also, if you devoutly participate in a solemn Eucharistic procession uh, on the solemnity of the, the Corpus Christi, the body and blood of Christ, uh, you gain a plenary indulgence, and that comes a couple weeks after Pentecost. Um, also, the Sacred Heart of Jesus is coming up uh, after that, and when you recite the act of reparation, uh, which is, there's, there's the Jesu Ducissime Redemptor, a prayer, uh, you can also gain the uh, the indulgence. And and so it is for several solemnities during the year. I'm not going to read all of them, but and especially during um, Poor Souls Day and the Octave of Poor Souls, you can always gain, if you go and visit uh, a church or a cemetery, you can gain a plenary indulgence on those days. And then there's the cir- special circumstances when you can gain a plenary indulgence. Um, I'll, I'll mention a few uh, because... <laughs> Some of them are so accessible, I bet you people don't even realize they can do this. And then there's others that are uh, extraordinary. You know, like on the anniversary of your own baptism, for example, you can renew your baptismal vows. And and, and on that day, you can gain yourself a plenary indulgence. Um, if a, a family uh, consecrates itself to the Sacred Heart of Jesus or to the Holy Family... Uh, and they recite any duly approved prayer um, before the image of the Sacred Heart or the Holy Family, that family can gain a plenary indulgence. So if you have an image of the Sacred Heart in your home uh, and you do a consecration for the first uh, for the first time, uh, then you can gain a plenary indulgence. Um, also, if you visit any church uh, on its patron saint day, uh, there you and you recite an Our Father and the Creed uh, in that church uh, on the day or the day of its dedication. If it's like the first day it's being opened and it's being dedicated by the bishop, um, on those on those occasions you can gain a plenary indulgence. Uh, if you do a retreat that lasts three days of spiritual exercises, you can gain a plenary indulgence as well. Uh, there, there's so many others. Uh, for example, you know, if you go to a celebration of somebody, uh, the priest's 25th, 50th, or 60th or 70th anniversary of their ordination, uh, if you re- and you know you you assist that ceremony, you can actually gain a uh, plenary indulgence. Or at the fer- the very first mass that the priest celebrates after he's ordained, um, his very first mass before the people. That's not his ordination mass. Um, uh, the faithful that assist that mass can gain a plenary indulgence. Here's one that it, we're in the season of uh, holy communions, at least in the northern hemisphere. Um, if you go to a, if if you are the recipient of holy communion for the first time, so the first communicants, they receive uh, the indulgence. But anybody who assists the mass of the first holy communion also can receive the plenary indulgence. So if you go to the first holy communion of your brother sister nephew, cousin, whatever, friend, you can gain a plenary indulgence. Um, there's so many others. These are just some examples. I really hope you try to do that. The more we do it, the more we get sanctified. The Yes, of course, we're taking days off of purgatory, hopefully. But we we also um, grow closer to Christ. The more, we, the more we do these plenary indulgences, the more we're filling ourselves with the graces he won from redemption so take advantage of this and remember to have have the intention of at least applying it to yourself or to poor soul in purgatory. And um, in this way, you do so much benefit for the whole church, for, your, for yourself. And uh, one other uh, sig- uh, really interesting thing, just so you know, uh, Mystic, her name was Maria Shima. She was re- it was revealed to her many things about the poor souls in purgatory. And um, she, it was. I, th- I think our Lord told her that uh, most souls go to purgatory on Christmas Day, um, and on other feast days as well. And one of those feast days that uh, she, he was mentioned to her was Ascension Sunday. Uh, we are in the we're celebrating Ascension Sunday. So today, if we offer up indulgences for the poor souls, I highly recommend that you do so. Uh, many will go into heaven today. So let's do that. Let's let's offer our indulgences for the poor souls on this Ascension Sunday when we celebrate 
the glorious ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ when he brings human flesh for the first time into the the presence of God in heaven and um, we, we celebrate with great joy this day I'm sure will help so many poor souls if we offer up our indulgences.